Hi gang, Captain Bill Safe the Third. It's time for a video short quick tip on handling tangled lines and staying organized. You catch a fish, it comes to the back of the boat and it's dragging another line and lure. How do you release that? Get it to swim back into position. Make sure that all your trolling gear is working properly. It's about dotting the I's and crossing the T's and staying organized. It'll put more fish in the box and that's what this video short is all about. Okay, one of the things that happened right there, we weren't sure whether we had a second fish on right there or we let the board out too quick and we crossed and picked up that other line, which is what we did. So here's the hammer killer mascot in his hands right here. A lot of guys are gonna take this spoon and they're just gonna throw it back in the water. Well, you don't know if that hook comes over, it hooks the line, it does any of that kind of thing. So if you'll take that video camera for me, come on right up here on the side map. If that goes dark, just push your finger right here on the bottom. So here's how you release the line. Let's take a look at it right over the edge here. Here's how you release the line. You swing the lure, you put it up here, and now you let the pressure of the line tail the spoon back. And what happens there is that spoon will go out like this under pressure, come to the left, and it'll spin right around and it'll come into position right behind that board. And you never have to worry about on a spoon release whether or not, uh, I can take her, my dear. You never have to worry on a spoon release whether or not you've released that and it's trolling in a suitable fashion. The key to a lot of this fishing, guys, is making sure that uh, you give yourself as much opportunity to be successful as you possibly can. And part of that deal of uh, giving yourself that opportunity is making sure that you practice good fishing habits and technique when you're running your gear. If you do that, your stuff will stay in line, your gear will run cleaner, you'll be more organized, and consequently, when you do cross those hot pockets of fish, you're gonna be more successful. I've had a lot of people in our seminars and clinics say to me in the past that you're, you're a very lucky fisherman, and I always respond to them in the same way. Luck is when opportunity and preparation come together. So if you handle those things, you dot the I's and cross the T's, you're gonna catch a couple more fish. We're doubled right here, guys. Mary and Matt. You let me know when it's getting close, I'll come back. Stay right there with him, Mary. This one should be on a hammer killer. Keep them coming. I'm gonna put this weight rod right here out the outside, give her some room on the side of the boat. Doubled on the inside here. No surprise. You're doing great, my dear. Just keep her steady as she goes. You're doing fine. I got him. I think this is the real good fish. Nice. Stay right here, okay? Stay right here. I tell you, I'm gonna have you stop whining, raise your rod tip back up. You got him, my dear. Back right up, all the way back. Beautiful fish on a hammer killer no surprise there that's just a dandy brown just gorgeous perfect fish bat him randy will take that fish if they don't want it we'll take him yep. step right over here for me my dear yep that's right in front of you randy all right we're gonna come right back we're gonna see what we've got going on here with matt nice and easy on him doubled on the inside Let our green chin music out just a little bit further. We'll Pretty get that nice, baby nice. in position. Nice double. You know what they call this, Randy? A double? No, double they call double. it the Canadian Connection. Yeah. That's what's going on here. We got the Canadian Connection. Go right to the back right here, then I can get over your shoulder. Perfect. Yeah, that is exactly what's going on here. Charter Skipper Matt Parent at the rod. Bring that red throttle down just a little bit, Mayor. Just a touch. There you go. He's coming right in here. Coming right in. Nice chunk right there, yeah, too. Okay, easy. Raise that rod tip just a bit. Perfect. Got it. Nicely done. Okay, Mayor, bring that speed up just a touch. And he's right off. That guy's right off. That one was on a <coughs> gold perch. Those are both nice looking browns. We'll, let's keep those two and then uh, 
we'll cut them. If you guys don't want to take them home to eat, we'll we'll take them home. There's a beautiful brown right there that you're seeing right there, and then here's that uh, here's that one that hit that hammer killer that Mary got. Look at these two browns right there, beauties. That is what we call the Canadian connection. There they are, Mary, Matt, Parent coming down. Matt, tell me what's going on with. Uh, with your charter service up there in Canada and why you're down here fishing browns with well, us. Well, yeah, Lake Ontario, South Shore, Ontario side, uh, just don't get the number of browns that you guys do down here. We're uh, witching our sport fishing. We're into the Kings already off the Niagara River. Uh -huh. And it's always great to come down and fish Bill, Bill Safe spread for browns. Yeah, Nothing well, better. Pretty good. Mary, nice fish right there, I'll tell you. Thank you, you sir. That, that's a dandy brown and uh, we're gonna cut that baby up. I wouldn't be surprised if that make, if that brown right there makes it into a smoking video here pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks, Matt and Mary, for making the pilgrimage from Canada to the South Shore to fish browns with the BSO team. I'm sure that many of your catches will make it into a full-length video at some point, but today, it's all about a BSO video short and quick tip, and you guys did a great job handling tangled lines, and staying organized. That's what today's clip was all about. Join me here next time. Thanks for watching.